Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So last week I've got my first long range digital FPV drone. It's a Chimera 5 from iFlight. This is this drone is using the yeah the digital FPV system. The main problem about this transmission system is that if you lose the signal, you lose the telemetry in your goggles, so you cannot see the last GPS position for, for your drone. So this is yeah kind of painful if you're if you're doing long range flights because you cannot know where your drone is is located that that's the main problem so the first solution i found um that is pretty straightforward to put in place in the tango 2 uh, radio that that's the one i'm using so it's tbs tango 2 so the main mechanism i found is to record the telemetry on the SD card. This is uh, pretty detailed yeah, information you, you got, so you, you get mostly everything about the drone, but the main problem is that this is not very convenient when you are out in the field, you are uh, at the mountains, and yeah, it's pretty complicated to have the laptop with you and connect and see the, the telemetry. Actually, it's a CSV file, okay? That's not convenient at all. I also found that uh, in the Tango 2, uh, you have a script, you have a screen, in fact, it's a, it's a Lua script that you can enable to show you some telemetry. The problem is that uh, that telemetry script is not displaying you the last GPS position. I mean, it's displaying the GPS position, but if you lose the signal, you don't see the telemetry in that case. So you lose also lose the, the GPS position, even in that case. So what I found around in the internet, it's another script that has been yeah, just modified from the original one. And that script is containing also, it's also showing you know, the last GPS position. This is very useful. So I will do a tutorial and show you how to modify that script and actually, at the end, we will see how to display the last GPS position. Let's go! You now have to copy the file to the, uh, to the Tango, to the Tango SD card. So to do that, just connect the Tango to your PC or Mac. Select the USB storage option and overwrite the file. So you have to go in the GitHub link that we have in the description, open the farl.lua file. My advice here is to open with the row mode in order to select the entire file uh, in the best way. So select the entire file, copy the file content. Then let's go in the Tango 2 SD card. Now the directory is the scripts telemetry. My advice here is to copy and make a backup for the original file, the file.lua file. Then what we can do, we open the file.lua with your text editor. We replace the file content with the one we copied from GitHub and save. So let's see now how to activate the dashboard uh, with the script that we just uploaded. So you have to press menu, then long press page. So you directly jump to the display configuration. Then here you select in screen one, you select the script that we just uploaded, this one, okay? To activate this view, you can exit, then you long press page button, and here we go. Here we go, so we have the, the dashboard. Currently you have GPS coordinates, you have no value, of course, because the drone is not connected. So let's see that, the field, and let's see how it works outside. Right now the drone is powered on as you can see from the GPS so the dashboard is currently displaying some data you can see the power 
the link quality and let's wait for the GPS coordinates. Yeah, as you can see, it takes some time to have the correct coordinates. Here we go. So we have the coordinates and now if I unplug the power, I can still see the coordinates. So as you can see right now, I disconnected the, the battery and as you can see, coordinates are here. So you can actually go in Google Maps and find back your drone. I hope that this tutorial was interesting for you, so feel free to leave a comment, like the video and of course subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video and of course fly safe. Bye bye!